Hello and welcome back to the 2-Minute Drill. My name is Bailey, and today we're looking at Kenyon Green, an offensive lineman from Texas A&M. Green is a very versatile lineman, playing every position except center for the Aggies. Right now, I would say his best position is at guard. He's able to lock down the interior for a team right away. He does this with his run blocking. Green is dominant in this regard. He is tasked with, and often succeeding in, being the lead blocker for his line on runs. He was able to move interior defensive linemen with his strength. He was also able to reach second level and knock back linebackers, providing lanes for his running backs. Green adds to this with his ability to pull on blocks, and I think he can fit in any scheme, but I like him most on inside zone and power schemes. That way, he can get his hands on someone quickly and provide a hole. The passing game is the biggest difference in Green's play. As a tackle, he sometimes struggles with his technique, bear hugging and getting flagged for holding. As a guard, his lack of technique gets hidden a bit more, and he's able to sustain blocks with his pure strength alone. Green also has a very good anchor, and it's very hard to knock him back in the passing game. Green is able to keep rushers at bay with his 34-inch arms, which are high percentile for guards and in the acceptable range for tackles. As previously mentioned, Green is seen as a guard right now, but I do think he has room to grow as a tackle. His technique issues can be fixed, and I could see him eventually making a move to right tackle. A pretty popular comp I've seen for Green is Elton Jenkins due to his versatility, which I don't agree with. I like Taylor Moten as a comparison to Green, who was another powerful guard prospect who had versatility at tackle. After a year, Moten made the switch to right tackle and played there ever since for Carolina, and I think Green could make a similar switch after some development. Right now, I think Green is solidly in the mix as the top guard in the draft due to his ability to play in any scheme and his upside to possibly develop into a tackle. Even if he just remains a guard in the NFL, I have confidence that Green will return a first-round value for any team that is lucky enough to draft him. And that's the two-minute drill.